Hey guys, for this video, we're going to be reviewing TF2, aka Team Fortress 2. Now, I honestly personally love this game. And so, in this game, basically, it's an online multiplayer. Sometimes it's a little bit laggy here and there. You can obviously see in the uh, video. But, um, it's not that laggy most of if you have a really good high running PC. Like I almost do. My PC is meant for my, my homework at school and whatnot. But, I like to play my games on it with my friend. So, uh, in this game, basically, it's obviously multiplayer. And right now, as my character, I'm playing as the Scout. Which is basically a very, very fast character. He is very, very mocking kind of guy. He's more like a mockingbird. Not like an actual bird, but... <coughs> Sorry. Um, he... He's a funny guy. He's basically like a Brooklyn kind of funny guy that runs around. He's pretty quick. For his ability, he basically runs quick. So, um... He makes a lot of jokes when you go to taunt. I do also like the soldier, but he's pretty funny. Alright, so that's just for the scout. Alright, let's move on to the other characters. So obviously this is the scout I've explained. You basically know the basics of the scout. Alright, so this big busty guy, he's his name is obviously the soldier. He's basically a heavyweight almost guy and he obviously loves America and he has basically a rocket launcher. And with this ability, you can basically jump and then use a rocket launcher. You get to actually jump far, far away. And you can get your shovel and melee someone across the head with it. So, obviously, this is more of a uh, strategic kind of person. They really want to just get down to business and get the capture points. So, obviously, next up, we're going to use the Pyro. As you heard of the name Pyro, obviously, what you guys know from the name Pyro means loves to make fire, or makes stuff on fire, at, at least. So, obviously this is a good name for the Pyro, because he's a, basically a flamethrower kind of, kind of guy, like in the gameplay. He's basically a psychopath that likes to burn stuff on fire. It's not really much of a ability or anything, but for his main default gun, he can blast out gas to get people away from him. And up next is the Demo Man. I'm going to basically add these two together as one. Um, Demo Man is basically, for a simple, uh, special ability, he can run pretty fast. He basically gets uh, like a double kind of damage on his guns that he uses. But he goes very, really fast and then ends. So, I end up dying. Next one, we have the Heavy. And basically this guy is like a uh, Russia-loving big guy, like actual big guy. And he doesn't really have much of a superpower. <coughs> but however, you can equip him with a stake, which basically allows him to have a power-up for his melee and goes on a melee rush. So, basically it's a uh, guy who likes to basically shoot people with his machine gun. Like I said, next up on the list is the Engineer. This guy basically gets to create anything out of tech and... <coughs> sorry. With his wrench, he basically up like upgrades the Sentry or whatever he's building. He can either build a Sentry, a Healer, a Teleporter for going in Teleport and coming out Teleport. So, basically, this is a really handy guy that you would have on your team. So... That's pretty much it for the engineer, but however, some of his guns use up his uh, scrap metal, which basically is what you need to use to upgrade sentries or anything that you're using. And of course, spies can actually sap your uh, whatever you're using to get rid of it. Next up, we have the medic. This is basically a person who, obviously you can tell by the description, is to heal people. Now, this person would go great with either pyros, or um, soldiers, or the best of all is heavy. So that, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> you can use this basically ability to heal someone, and you can earn this thing called an Uber charge, which basically allows you to go into like a instant non-death spree, basically. Okay, next up is the sniper. Obviously, you can tell what the name is. 
this guy basically likes to snipe people. And in this round, I messed up and I uh, basically lost. So, anyway, um, what the sniper basically does, he uh, likes to camp. Yep, like, like I said, campers. Yep, camp. He likes basically just to sit there, do absolutely nothing, and camp. That's all he does. I mean, however, there's different types of guns you can use, or, uh, actually, you can use bows, in fact, which I have. Now, for this, I tried making him have a bow, and it, it messed up, obviously. So, I had to go back into spawn, and I had to get him his bow. Alrighty, so like I said, he can basically have a bow, and he doesn't really have much of a super, and, um, however, some of his items that you do come in good handy. So, like, there's this one armor piece where you can have, which is basically a backboard on your back, and allows you not to be stabbed by people in the back, which is aka, um, spies, which I will show you coming up soon. So, this is a good ability for the sniper, so he can get long shots from people. However, he's very, very weak to heavies, pyros, pretty much anything. Except for spies, if you have the non-backstabber thing. Scouts, however, he can take his uh, trusty knife on his side, and he can kill people. And I was lucky shot right there. I just shot randomly, and I killed someone. I was very lucky. It was a uh, assist. But, however, his sniping, kills, or his sniping skills aren't that very well if you have a bow. Because it's very, very weak for the eyesight. And especially with everyone jumping around on a laggy server... Yeah, you're gonna die, basically. So, alright. Uh, the next character we're gonna be using is... The Spy. Of course. The backstabbing, low-level person in this whole entire game is the Spy. He is, like, my number one character that I use. So, shout out to my homeboy, Spy. With his cloak and dagger, or dead ringer. And his awesome butterfly tricks, like my my butterfly tricks. I actually learned his butterfly uh, trick for uh, Meet the Spy, which is a video for the uh, intros of all the characters for uh, TF2. I actually learned it, and I'll actually show you a clip right now. Yes! Oh my god! Pretty cool, right? I've been practicing almost every day. So, anyway, with the Dead Ringer for his for the special power, if you ever have it, basically it allows you when you die or, or basically when you die, yeah, you turn invisible for a current amount of time, and it's really really useful for those pro handlers for the spy. And yeah, I use it a lot, but I found out the de the uh, default knife and the Dead Ringer is amazing, truly amazing. And with the scrap metal, it basically allows you to replenish it. So, anyway, that's all for the good stuff for this video. Let's talk about the bad stuff about this. Now, for me, this heart, just this just game just really just took my heart. I love this game so much. But, however, there are the downsides. Um... If you have, like, a really bad PC, and you were really impatient just to, like, get a brand new PC to play on this game, and you were so impatient just to download it on your crappy PC, and you decided to play it, you're gonna get tons of lag. I'm sorry, but you're gonna get just tons, tons of lag. That's why you need good internet and a good PC. However, you might get away with playing, um... What is it? Man vs. Machine, which is basically an online multiplayer game, which basically you get to kill robots, and it's awesome. I love it, but you don't get as much stuff with the game, so. And, however, the stuff when you go to get a thing called a uh, chest, where basically you need to buy, with real money, an actual key in this game for you to open it. It'll give you a rare item or something, anything from that box. And if you're a premium owner of Steam, then you're pretty lucky, because if you don't have a key, you don't have enough money right now, then you can go ahead and sell that, and then you can get another one. You can buy a key for that. And 
it's only for premium accounts so all right so that's all i have to do about this video this game i really love it i really 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 love it till my heart contends to die when i play this game i played a lot like i played it for 24 7 once and i gave up because i was just so bad and this i'm getting a little bit better i'm getting a little bit better i mean here i made a mistake I decloaked while I went by tons of people. So, and the scout find out I was himself, and so then the uh, heavy killed me. But anyway, that's for this video. Thank you so much. I'm gonna rate this 10 out of 10 because I really love this game. But the legginess, I have to give it an 8 out of 10. All right. So, love you guys. Love this game. I'll see you guys in another video. Peace. Yes! Oh!